Welcome down the rabbit hole. My name is Katie, and we're here to talk about sister wives. It's hard to... <laughs> McKelty's my baby, and I know that she's Christine's baby first, but she is my baby. Did you know that when Robin entered the family, McKelty was going through a season in her life where she was looking for more freedom and space from her bio mom, Christine. And that Christine, recognizing Robin could use some help with caring for her young kids, allowed McKelty to move in with Robin for a short period of time. Naturally, McKelty became close to Robin's daughter, Brianna. And to this day, McKelty continues to love and speak positively about Robin, even calling her mom. I feel closer to Robin's kids, mostly Brianna. I feel like I, I spiritually have a connection with Brianna and all of the rest of your kids. I feel like Brianna is, she is my sister. In the midst of Christine's separation from Cody, McKelty went into labor with her second pregnancy. McKelty specifically invited her mom and Robin to attend. Well, of course Robin couldn't attend in person because that would go against Cody and Robin's rules for everyone during COVID, except the nanny. But because it was important to McKelty, Christine went out of her way to FaceTime Robin in so she could be virtually present for the event. It's April 3rd. McKelty's finally in labor now. Robin couldn't be at the birth in person just because of COVID. And it was still so important for McKelty to have Robin there. And so I arranged to have Robin just come in on a conference call the whole time. We watched this go down earlier in the season, and it all seemed so nice and graceful of Christine to make every effort to include Robin. I'm also grateful to Robin that she has this special relationship with McKelty. Ultimately, it speaks positively about Christine and Robin's parenting skills, but let's be honest, more so Christine's skills, <laughs> in my opinion. So, of course, I'm finding it super annoying that in the new sneak peek of Sister Wives, Robin and her kids and Cody are once again being big assholes to Christine, and it's filtering down to McKelty, in my opinion. So, in the sneak peek, it looks like McKelty rides into town with, with her kids and Tony to help Christine move back to Utah. In a plot twist, TLC must really love, or even set up, McKelty is all like, hey, let's have a big family party where we all say goodbye and celebrate my mom. Let's definitely invite all the people who are the most pissed off about this, especially Robin and Cody. Yay! What could go wrong? Well, us viewers, we guessed it. This is what could go wrong. According to the sneak peek video, there's literally a line between Robin, her kids, and everyone else as she uses her own bitch face to express her disdain for Christine, to express her disdain for Christine's rational choices to get the hell out of a toxic relationship. This is such an awkward moment. There is such a strike to all my feelings and Christine says the party kind of sucked, but whatever, she's on to bigger and better things. But before McKelty and her husband Tony can whisk Christine off into the Utah sunset, they have to visit Robin's McMansion to talk with McKelty's dad and Robin for a bit. Even though I know that I have 100% support from McKelty, I know that she also supports Robin 100%. They're on the porch, of course, because heaven forbid we ever get to see the inside of Robin's mansion. That would mean everybody would have to bring their, their COVID cooties into Robin's sacred space. So, of course, we're all hanging out in the cold on the porch. I'm so glad you came to see us. I'm glad we came to Right? <laughs> it's nice. McKelty and Tony are seemingly being really nice and positive, like normal people. They're specifically saying a lot of nice things to Robin. With, with like everything going on with your mom and stuff like that, I just appreciate you coming and stuff. Yeah, of course. Just, Robin, in kind of a not very bitchy way at all, just kind of subtly checks in with McKelty and says, like, I hope what's going on with your mom doesn't affect your relationship with me. I just want to make sure that no matter what's happening, uh, there... We're You're good. still mom, Robin. And grandma. 
So, like, that's my biggest thing is just making sure that, like, we're all good. We we, our relationship continues and it's based on what goes on in our relationship. <laughs> no it's not based going. on outside sources. And McKelty is so sweet. She's like, of course not. I love you and you're my mom too. Wow, I mean, that's really big of McKelty. And I also think it's big of Christine who could be going behind Robin and Cody's back and really doing everything she could to set her children against them. But we haven't seen any of that on the show. I know we don't know everything that goes on behind closed doors, but the way that Christine and Janelle's children act towards everyone else in the family, overall, it seems fairly positive. And I really have to give them a lot of credit for that. But oh no, here comes Cody. Cody has been brooding across the table and waiting for his time to pounce. He immediately interjects by literally saying, what about me? Because who gives a shit about anyone else at the literal and figurative table? It feels like everything's uh, affected my relationship with everybody, though. When it comes to, you know, like raising kids and dealing with things like this, I'm, I'm almost always bad cop. And so my relationship, I feel like, is somewhat strained with a lot of my kids. Hey. McKelty strokes his ego, but it's not enough, guys, because Cody needs to dig up dirt on Christine, and he's hoping that McKelty and Tony are the ones who are willing to help. How long have you guys known? Um, I think that we, as, like, known, actually, it's been... I mean, like, is, was she talking know. about it before? She was talking about it. She's been talking about it for a while. So he's basically like, how long has your mom been talking about leaving me? Here comes some awkward silence. But I've got to give McKelty credit because she's basically like making it clear that, hey, she's been talking about this for a while. But I think most of what she's been talking about is what anybody talks about in a relationship. The ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. Cody won't leave it alone. And he's like, how long exactly? Down to the millisecond. Because if it was before I ever said anything, I need to highlight that and make it clear that she's a traitor. I, I, I know that I can't talk Christine to my kids. I don't want to talk her at all even though that's my natural my natural urge is to do that i have to control that because that's not fair mckelty and tony are kind of sitting there awkwardly rolling their eyes a tiny bit looking at each other being very kind trying to figure out what to say and mckelty basically goes into this thing about well she's basically been talking about not being happy for a long time like the ups and downs that we all go through I'm catching myself in this moment here when I'm saying, how long have you guys known? And that's a blame game that I'm playing. And I feel ashamed that I'm doing that. We don't see much more in this sneak peek. We do hear Cody talking in, an, in his solo interview, saying that he really feels a deep desire to push McKelty further that he wants to speak out about how he feels about Christine, what's going on with him. Um, he wants more information about what's being said to his children by Christine. He wants information about Christine. And yet he says, like, I have to hold back for the good of my children. It's so interesting what Cody sees as being important because he definitely wasn't willing to visit his children for the good of his children or be involved in the lives of his children for the good of his children. I think the, the situation around it is it's it's sad. Like it's sad anytime any kind of family breaks up or separates. Yeah. But if it's what she wants, I think it's important to support what she wants. But at the very least, he's willing to go on national TV and say, hey, I'm not going to push McKelty too far to shit talk my ex-wife not now anyway so whatever i'm super grateful christine is getting the hell out of this toxic relationship i'm also really grateful that the tlc show has painted her as being very graceful and positive about this separation Recently, I was reading some things that Gwen Brown has had to say on her Patreon about her mom and Cody. And one thing that she said, which was kind of hard to hear, but also good insight, 
is that Gwen said she didn't like her mom very much over the last couple of years that she's been with Cody. And now she feels that her mom is much happier, more positive, and more wonderful to be around than she's been in a long time after leaving Cody. That was an interesting perspective. And we all know I think Gwen is incredibly honest to a fault. So I bet Christine was having some issues, being unhappy, maybe jealous, and really struggling dealing with all the friction in the family over the last couple of years, and that's made her somewhat unpleasant to be around for people at times. I'm so glad we get to see the real Christine now, baking and enjoying her life. For those of you who haven't heard, we recently saw on Christine's Instagram that she's filming for the Sister Wives show at her house in Utah. So next season, we'll still be seeing more of Christine and hopefully getting to know how she's doing as she strikes out on her own life after being a sister wife. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you check in again so that we can head down another rabbit hole.